Hi guys, it's me Sophie again. So, I need your help and your imagination. When most people look at trash, they only see the bad things. They only see something that you can't use, something disgusting, and something totally useless. But actually, many artists have used trash to create amazing artwork. If you go back to the 1920s, there was this uh, German artist called Elsa von Freitag Löwinghoven. I hope I say that right. And she made these amazing things out of stuff that she found on the streets. So she would find like spoons or different things and then she would create, for example, this amazing hat or costume or even sculptures. And also today, many artists are using it to create really, really, really cool things. For example, you can see here, Michael Sauter created this huge robot out of styrofoam boxes, which are basically these. We call them flamingo in Danish, really weird. But he made them out of these, just ordinary styrofoam boxes. That is pretty cool. So, I need your help now to show that you can make amazing things out of trash. So, from trash to treasure. And the thing is, you guys, you have two weeks to collect different kinds of trash. And then you can use only four hours to make your own artwork. And you can make whatever you want to. You can make a sculpture or a painting. So only the sky is the limit. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of good advice on what you're gonna have to look for when you start making your artworks. So advice number one, think about colors. If you use colors that are very different from each other, then you can see you get this really cool contrast that pops bam and if you use colors which are kind of like the same you get this more cool feel like the robot we just saw advice number two think about textures see if you can find some trash that have different textures because if you have that, you can build different things and use them in different ways. So for example, you could take some plastic and then shove it in an old glob. And then suddenly you have a 3D thing. And maybe you could place that with the other. And then suddenly you have a really weird rocket <laughs> or uh, maybe like a dancing lady. So only the imagination is the limit. Third advice, have fun and go crazy. Rules are meant to be broken and there are no rules in art. So just do whatever you wanna, experiment, go crazy. So you guys, I can't wait to see your artworks. Until then, have lots of fun and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.